السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I attended, I was attending uh, a general assembly of one of the global humanitarian organizations years ago. And as you understand and you know me by now, that I'm pro empowering our young sisters, women, and young people. And my dream is to see these two categories, women and youth, young people, are in the high level seats driving the organization from inside. And this has nothing to do with being in the West. It's something to do with understanding how the Prophet was the first among us humanity to empower women at his time. Not like the Greek and the Roman and the others who used to use who used to use women as objects and have no rights uh, to live or to exist even. Uh, during this meeting, there was one of the colleagues, which was a woman. She reluctantly uh, said that she's not going to be put on the board, and I wanted her to be coming board member, even a chair of the board as well. So Allah guided me to give a very strong and emotional uh, statement for about two or three minutes to convince her to change her mind. And at the back of my mind, I thought that she would become the chairman. I was mistaken. And everybody voted that she would become, she has to come back to the board. Alhamdulillah, she came back and they went in a very, very, very comfortable, yani motivated uh, status uh, after that as I was walking above the moon. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Uh, this was, I can't remember, it was the midday. I think I can't remember this about a few years ago. Then uh, in the evening, I realized that she declined to become the chairperson. And this was not my object, my objective. And somebody else became the chairperson. I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked. Because I mistakenly thought when I elect her, she would become automatically a chair. I said, no, the board has to choose his own chair. You know what happened after this? news, after I heard this news, who came to me in my bedroom and uh, whispering to my right ear, left ear, eyes, mind, everything, the devil. The devil, subhanallah, was extremely talented, dedicated, committed, yani, I cannot believe it. Whispering, 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 whispering in the back of my mind and making me angry, making me boiling, making me whatever it is. To a point in his whisper to me, he was telling me, May Allah let this brother to die. I said, what? To become sick. I said, what? To have heart attack. This is the devil. This is the devil who divide the community, who bring hatred to every one of us who throw us at the end of the day into hellfire. This is the devil. I couldn't be able to sleep on that night. I have to resist. I have to fight back. But it was so heavy on me to keep listening to the devil. You know what I have done? First of all, I decided to use my new technique of saying A'udhu Billah Min Shaitan Rajim in my word. Second thing is to say Allahumma la taj'al fi qalbi ghillan ado. Please Allah don't let any element of hatred or anger or bad feeling towards my brothers and sisters. It was a struggle to get the devil away from behind me, from in front of me, from my right side or from my left side. You have to struggle to keep him away. Imagine this happening in an organization. What happened if this devil came to me when I became a, 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 a president of a country or a minister 
or a king or a queen. I kill people, I destroy people, I imprison people who become uh, not agreeing with me. No, this is why. This is why. This is why we need to protect ourselves from devil 24/7 by saying "Auzu billahi min ash-shaitan rajeem." Auzu billahi min ash-shaitan rajeem. Auzu billahi min ash-shaitan rajeem. Because he is the one who wants to see us failing. Brothers and sisters, you might think that I am talking nonsense. In life, there's two sides of the coin. One side is the knowledge which we learn from people who wrote their experience. Okay. in uh, policy procedures uh, governance uh, what else ya rabbi governance and uh, accountability and 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 okay but on the other side we have to work on our soul and our heart our mind if we don't work on our soul and heart and mind we'll never be able to be fair when we implement such policies and procedures That's why most of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam refused to become responsible people. And why I'm saying this because up till now in our humanitarian and social sector as Muslim ones we still picking and choosing whom we trust. Let's make our way of choosing our board member on a very transparent way by advertising it to get the best of the best out of our community or of the, the, the bigger community and we do not have any representation in most of our organization the representation of whom of women and of young people and they constitute more than 60 70% of the population that we serve or they help us so this was my stand please 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 take my experience and use it But no matter how many degree you have, how much the experience you have, you, we have to work on our heart, mind and the soul besides reading the books and the theories and the policies and the procedure. Assalamu alaikum.